Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, woo! Here we go, another Wednesday, another shave. Oh my word, one day that will come in here and that will stop moving when I press record. How are you all doing? Okay, here we go. You've seen, haven't you, by the thumbnail? Which I haven't done yet, so I'll say that, but I haven't actually made the thumbnail yet. I'll make it later on while this is uploading. The shave for today, we've got a good one lined up for you. There you go. Yaki Oceans 28mm. Check out that brush, courtesy of Lee Hazley over there in Thailand. Thank you, Lee. Get that in the official John Shears one. 101. Super Soaker. Hey, come on, what's your slope of the day? Here we go. Havana Club. That's just fancy, guys. Oh. Very, very warm, very, very humid, very, very sticky, and very draining. Mm. Okay, razor we're going to be using today. That is, can you see that? That is the Yaki final cut. Now I'll hold it up tight so you can see the numbers. To my eyes, it doesn't look like it's picking it up here, but it may when I watch it back on the TV. Those numbers, I've painted them in, in uh, Rex Ambassador Blue. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that's better. Look, can you see that? With a bit of darkness, kind of. Yeah, there you go. That's it. So we'll go on there. There's that. We'll lift that off. There you go. And we'll put the blade in. What blade here? Vijon. Now I used the other Vijons in the last shave, didn't I? Or the shave before. And we're going to use these Vijons in here. And do you know why we're using them, guys? Because the wrapper matched. <laughs> oh man, you know me too well, don't you? There you go. Vijon Super Stainless. There's actually... Uh, I say Super Stainless. There's actually a little bit of staining on there. Then. But it's a pretty decent looking blade. We'll get that in there. We'll nip that up. And once we've nipped it up, we will show you. Um, let me see now. Right. So the mechanism goes all the way around to number one. Can you see it? Number one there. And what we're going to do is we're going to send that all the way around. Watch, I'll see if you can... Can you see it opening all the way around to number six? The first pass on six, the second pass on four, and the last pass in the pickups on two. We'll put that there. I'm going to balm up with this. Uh, now, love, love, love this balm. Good, good generic balm. But this one just smells like any other generic balm to my nose. But if you get the Floyd Vetiver Balm, it smells phenomenal. And if you like Vetiver, you will like it. It's a lovely, wonderful, rich, deep Vetiver scent. But we're using that one today. Okay. And the so You'd be surprised today, guys. It's actually something I bought myself. Go figure. Look at this. Here we go. Summer Break Soap Company. Rope Swing. That on there, I get the old Tabaletti, the Summer Break Soap Company. You get on there, rope swing, I will very brief you, briefly read you the bump. The goal with this scent was to further explore, to further explore the idea of plunging into cold water at an exotic location. Uh, da -da. We are headed to a pristine mountain lake with this soap. The scent notes are dandelion water, moss, Galbanum, juniper, ozone, patchouli, and cedar. The scent notes with a rush of green before. Uh, uh, oh, the scent opens with a rush of green before settling down to a beautiful mix of dandelion and woody elements. The aquatic notes are not featured, but instead play a supporting role. Uh, the result is a cooling sensation. Uh, after two minutes that could last as long as 30 minutes in some people. There you go. It's all good, isn't it? It's all good. So what we're going to do. There's the pour. Had this a while. 
Well, I'm trying to. It is a unique scent. I would say dandelion and cedar will definitely come through. That's what I get from it. There you go. So shut your face, John. Well, oh, it's going to be a fly of today, guys. Oh, and this hair, this hair is irritating me. But I'm not, I'm not getting it cut. I may put off getting it cut until Monday. Uh, before so nice and fresh when I go on my holidays next week. There you go. So we'll put that straight in there. Look, the excess water will just run off. Uh, it's quite a hard salt. So um, it, lots of people bloom, bloom, don't bloom. It, it doesn't, I don't think you need to. I mean this, there's plenty of this look gathering up on there. So we'll see where we go in a minute. There you go. What's John's mantra? Gather onto the brush, lather onto the face. There you go. Mm. Yeah, I get those, I get those woody notes coming through now. Uh, but as always, anyway, the, uh, the Wednesday shave is a bit of a flyer. We'll dip the tips. Uh, yeah, I can feel, I can feel that synthetic menthol coming through now. Uh, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's it. There you go. Yeah, I can feel that synthetic menthol coming through now. Here we go. The Yaki Final Cut Razor. Um, there you go. See it? You see <laughs> number six. Here we go. Now, I don't know what this is made out of. But this razor isn't aluminium. <laughs> and it's not aluminium either. Oh, who was it said? John said, said Jaguar. I <laughs> Jaguar. Oh, man. Do you know that's probably the only word? The only word that annoys me when I hear an American say it Jaguar. Jaguar, it's not it's not Jaguar, it's Jaguar. Right. Do you know, I used to be a driver, first class for Jaguar Land Rover down in Skelmersdale. Uh, I got a job there, driving the, the completed cars off the production line. And we had to sit a lot of tests and driving tests and so on. Uh, and I got driver, first class. It sounds very exotic. For a long time, I had the green shirts with JLR on. Um, and people say, oh, Jackie Van Rover, did you look at Jackie Van Rover? Um, I lasted about two weeks. It was garbage, guys. Basically, even just normal, average, everyday skivvies are on 25, 30 pounds an hour there. But because we were agency drivers, they could pay us less. That place not very good, guys. Oh. It's sitting okay, but they could pay us less. So what they said is you'll be driving these off the car park, off the off the production line. And then you'll drive them to the car park. And then you'll come back on the bus. And then you'll drive another one out there. And that's basically what you're doing. So I thought, well, 15 quid, 15 pounds an hour. I'm going back 10 years. I'm freaking. I can live with that. I can live with that. So. Got there. No, no such thing. They tried to have me fit in some kind of electronics as the cars came off the production line. And my first night, I said to this woman, I said, I, I can't fit these. I haven't got my glasses. Do you mind friggin' telling me why you'd come to work without your glasses? I went, well, they're reading glasses. I don't need them for driving. I do now, but I didn't then. I said, I was told I'd be driving cars off the production line, not on my hands and knees, 
in a slow moving vehicle fitting electrical boxes. Anyway, well, gonna we'll put that down now to four. Can you see that? To four. So, anyway, she wasn't happy with that. So, I had me sweeping up all night. So I complained to my supervisor at the agency. I said, listen, I drive for over an hour to get here, work a 12 hour shift and drive an hour to get home. I said, now the money's fantastic. You've got to, you've got to remember in this country at that time, the minimum wage was about 7.50, eight quid an hour. I was on 15.50. Uh, so the money's great, I said, but, oh, it was horrible. So she, she felt affronted this last, so it became a battle of will. So I'd come in every night and I'd be driving the cars off the production line. Brand new Land Rovers and Range Rovers and so on. And then, um, but every excuse she got, to have a go or make some sarcastic comments. She was like a manager or something. Uh, but it was so funny. I probably related this story to you. We were in a health and safety meeting and they had a white Range Rover. Brown spanking new, very sleek, white Range Rover. And everybody that worked at Jaguar got to put their signature on it. And then it was auctioned off for charity. And they made a really big thing in this health and safety meeting, which was being held right next to this car. And this guy was making a really big thing about it. Oh, aren't we great? Aren't we wonderful? Blah, blah, blah. Right, let's go put that on number two. No. I'm going down, aren't I? I should have gone up, but I'm going down. But we'll just try something different. My skin's very, very soft, guys, with this uh, sun and this humidity. Anyway, the health and safety meetings over. Any questions? I put my hand up. I said, where do we get the pen to sign the car? He went, you don't sign it. Your agency drivers. You don't come, you don't sign the car. But you really couldn't make this stuff up, guys, could you? I turned and looked at the car in disbelief. And there, right on the back passenger side door, J Chalmers. My signature there. So somebody with the same name as me, his signature was almost identical to mine, written on the car. And I went, look, it's there anyway. <laughs> Should have seen the gas fence. Oh, but anyway, that's it, yeah. So I left not long after that. Because they were just... Oh, it was just... They treated us like absolute dirt. They really, really did. And I went back another night. Twelve hours they had me sleep sweeping the floors. I just phoned the last on the way home the next morning. Phoned the last at the agency. I said, I'm not going back here. Well, she says, you know, there's nowhere else pays this kind of money. I said, I oh, know. I said, but I work to live. I don't live to work. I said, I'm not 15 quid an hour or not. I'm not standing in one area the size of this bathroom just sweeping and the place was immaculate you could eat your dinner off the floor had to invent and pretend i was sweeping up 12 hours with this this thing this i don't know where it was coming from but overhead all night this sound watching people driving the cars off you know i just no no and it's like that line from that kenny rogers film Sometimes you've got to fight to be a man, haven't you? 
Well, I'd just fall on the edge. I just said, I'm not, I'm not coming back here. Oh, I don't know how those people do it. We didn't do pickups, did we, guys? We didn't do pickup. Oh, I said, I'm all out of kilter. It's because I'm running late, that's all it is. Oh, cheers, everybody. Do you see the quick fix for the glasses? I'm watching. Hey, 16 pairs of them little bad boys for three quid off of uh, Amazon. And they're absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Look, can you see them? Oh. They are absolutely bang on. Right. Okay, come on. Let's get some splash. Oh. It never, never gets old, that does it? Never, never gets old. There you go. Let's see what we pick up. All right. What is that? It's almost like a watermelon. Oh, it's almost like a watermelon, like a fresh, watery, aquatic. Yes, like, oh, lovely, lovely and fresh, but like a watermelon vibe. Very, very cooling. And it's going to pair up with this. I'm not putting a lot, I'm not in the shower yet. I'm going to go in the shower after. I'm going to go and sit down, upload this, do the thumbnail, and then in about half an hour, I will jump in the shower. And that's it, guys. Well, that's how we share. We're all done. Well, hey. We did okay, didn't we? We did okay. I'm not liking that cooling sensation. It, um, it is a bit burny for me. Uh, it does have a synthetic cooling agent in it. Uh, but it's not my thing. But there you go. We did okay. 17 minutes. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Um, Saturday shave. What we got planned? We don't know, but it'll be a good one. Look after yourselves. Stay hydrated in this heat. And remember, say to yourself, I'm going to be the reason that someone smiles today. And then you make someone smile. And I will see you on Saturday. Bye.